going uh, in this video we're going to integrate the uh, paypal express with our e-commerce website uh, at the moment let me go to checkout and see which uh, payment methods we have available all right i have already in my shopping cart i have some items and i pass it to checkout all right here it is uh, we have the credit card and debit card uh, checkout which is to checkout uh, this is a payment gateway platform so in order i have uh, another video where you can click maybe you can see that in the top right side yes uh, you can click on that to watch uh, how to integrate the two checkout payment gateway uh, anyway in here we are not going to use that one because uh, using stripe using two checkout in many cases uh, they are asking a lot of documents personally at the moment i'm not in a position to provide those documents so that is why i'm going in, i will deactivate this payment gateway i will disable this and instead of this one i will use the paypal express so with the paypal express the clients the buyers can uh, purchase and make the payment with their credit card and debit card and also with their paypal account another payment method which we have here is the pay union also you can see the video link uh, above right side uh, uh, you can watch that one how to integrate the pay union with woocommerce and another payment we have payment method is the uh, coinbase coinbase a cryptocurrency wallet the customers can uh, make payments with the cryptocurrencies like bitcoin litecoin uh, ethereum and many more and another payment method that we have is the paypal this is the paypal standard not the paypal express so whenever the customer want to make payment with the paypal it will be redirected to the paypal website and the customer will leave your website for a while to make the payment what we are doing here is uh, just to disable this paypal payment gateway the standard one and we are going to disable this one as well uh, the two checkout because at the moment i didn't get the approval from the two checkout so i cannot receive the payment um, instead of these two payment methods we are going to use the paypal express a customer can make payment with the paypal and can make payment with the credit card and debit card without leaving uh, your website mm, okay let's move on make sure you're watching the video till the end and uh, i'm going to explain everything step by step with details with pros and cons and so everything should be clear for you what to in order to make a decision for your uh, store okay let me go to home page all right uh, this is my store let's go to backend and integrate the payment gateways we want all right uh, go to woocommerce and here we have the settings great uh, now let's go to payment Mm. all right the first one is credit card and debit card the two checkout payment gateway i want to disable this one same case with the paypal standard and uh, i want to save changes and what we will do is to set up the paypal checkout uh, by default paypal checkout is not here you need to go to plugins and install a plugin let me go to plugins here it is and add me mm, all right in here you can uh, search for the paypal express let me see if it can find it yeah here it is this is the plugin which i'm using woocommerce paypal checkout payment gateway by woocommerce uh, this is a good plugin this is a good plugin though the review is uh, low but i like it i have integrated uh, this one for a client also and he's just really happy with that 
that's why I'm using this one although there are uh, some other plugins for the for this purpose for example this one you can download this one from the WooCommerce website it is free also you can just click uh, free download and you need to fill a form uh, you need to log in with your WooCommerce account uh, and uh, you need to purchase it it's just free zero us dollar when you click purchase and you can download this one i have already logged in with my woocommerce account yes and you can download you can download this one and you can uh, and you can upload it to your website this is also a good plugin but personally i'm using this one and this is a good one when you install and activate this one and then you go to settings payment uh, when you install the plugin in this paypal checkout will be here oh there is a very nice music in the background <laughs> i have a good neighbor here uh, all right so paypal checkout enable that one let me move it up so I can uh, have them all in one place. PayPal, Payoneer, Coinbase. Yeah, that is great. Now click Setup. Okay, let's enable. The title, PayPal or credit card uh, or debit card. This is the title I have changed uh, already. And the description, same case, pay with PayPal or credit and debit card. And the environment is live or sandbox sandbox is just a, a testing environment so for us we are just saying live and in here we have two options the first one is to set up a link an existing paypal account or click here to toggle the manual api uh, so we just do it manually uh, we, it's asking for the api username and the live api password and signature so we, that's uh, but you can find it uh, simply all you need to do is to log into your PayPal account and uh, to go to the tools and API and then find these details I have a picture here and a screenshot that how it will look uh, all uh, you need to you, you need to use the API username, API password and the signature. I have already copied these details in my notepad and I just simply copy and paste. API username. API username. Good. Okay. And the live API signature. Copy and All right, um, the brand name is SOA, Socials Online Store, a logo. So it's better to import the logo or in desktop. And I have two logos here with the exact uh, dimensions. Okay. This is Okay, 190 by 60 pixel, 190 by 60 pixel, and another one is the header image. Just uh, yeah, this one, 450 by 90 pixels. Let's just scroll down and see what else we have. Uh, this one, the landing page, uh, it is very important. So you need to select the billing and non-PayPal account. If you select, uh, if you select the login PayPal account login, it will be redirected to the PayPal uh, website. But when you select the billing non-PayPal account, it will be there will be a pop-up screen that so the customer will not leave your website. They will uh, can they can pay directly through that pop-up screen. Okay. And here it is the invoice uh, perfix. Uh, WooCommerce, what SOS, for example. In case you have different kinds of uh, e commerce stores, so you just want to specify this invoice belongs to which one. Record billing address, so uh, you need to record the phone number. Uh, the payment action that should be sell. If you authorize, uh, 
then the payment will not happen at that exact moment so select sell the payment will instantly happen require the instant payment okay and uh, this is how the button looks the paypal button it's recommended the color will be low uh, gold uh, rectangle and the paypal button can be paypal or paypal by now i prefer this one the layout should be horizontal or vertical yeah horizontal is okay and of course it should be sponsored <laughs> Check out on the check out on the cart page. If you enable this one, then it will add the button to the checkout uh, uh, to the cart page, and it's really good because it's really handy. And when the customer see the button, so he or she may click fast and do the checkout and make the payment. And check out on a single product page. It's also really good, and I wanna have it here. Uh, this is the button layout, horizontal, responsive, and paypal, buy now button. And save changes. Alright, so now let's go to the store and see. Uh, oh, here we have an error, the API credential. All right, I just fixed the API credential. Now it is okay. And let me refresh this page. Ah, uh, great. So now we have the options to pay with PayPal. Your two options. One is with the PayPal. Uh, you can click on the PayPal. So there will be a pop-up window. A customer can pay with the PayPal or with the credit card or debit card. All right, it is done. Uh, thank you very much. Hope for a just point. Make sure to subscribe for more. And if there is any issue, comment below. And see you all in the next tutorial. Have a good time.